Hello and welcome to this live. If you're watching this on replay, this was a live stream in Great Yarmouth. I'm Tim. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you haven't already, please make sure you give the video a thumbs up and hit subscribe as well. So I try to do a live walk in Great Yarmouth uh, once a month um, and it's August. It's August bank holiday so this was filmed on Friday and the weather has turned very unseasonable. In fact it's very warm today but um, yeah it's got a little bit cool right now hence I've got the jacket but I've got no heated jacket on. So we're going to do our annual walk down the seafront but I thought I would start tonight somewhere different and that is of course some very grand doors. This is Great Yarmouth Minster. It's a very impressive church. Well, it's not a church, it's a minster. Um, and just as I'm starting, I have a visitor, someone who hasn't been on the live stream for a while. Hey, it's Gabby, fresh from Hi. work. I'm so sorry. The reason why Gabby is with me this evening is because <laughs> we had a key situation. So I've got to hand the keys to you. I would love I was to like, say, where are you? I would love to say, go on YouTube and you'll find me. I would love to say that you're coming along the live, but you're not, are you? I'm not. No. Not but you haven't said hello to anyone, everyone for ages. So let's have some You're hellos. looking lovely, by the way. Should we just quickly show your bump? Oh my God, I'm so buff. I've just finished work. Go can look I? Rough. Can I show bump? Yeah, sure. There you go. <laughs> it's getting big now. There's, there's bump. You can't really. Come on camera. Can you see? There you go. That's about it. But, uh, yeah, Gabby just wanted to come and get the keys, so I'll give you those. Thank you. Thank Hi, you. everybody. You. Hope you're all doing all right. It's a bit misty, actually. That. I wish I could come and walk with you, but I've just done nine hours at work. And, um, so come and do a someone few, needs food. Come and do a someone few Someone needs hours. sleep. Yeah, well, I do as well. <laughs> I guess I'm having um, cheese on toast. Yep. A home. bit of Tesco's. I've got you some cheese, <laughs> got you some bread. Me and Holly, you're having steak. <laughs> Brilliant. You do look beautiful as always but i'll see you later all right i'm just going to turn the camera around so Love you can't you. see us Mwah. i'm not filming that so it's okay <laughs> <laughs> see you later then see you later bye don't do anything i wouldn't do well i'll try not to so anyway uh just very quickly hello to the channel members um who are in the chat right now david nm good evening david hope you're good the foxy b always as always foxy b updates with the signal won't you Hello Crispy, uh, Lydia, Linda is here, Foxy B, I've just said hello to that. Uh, hello to Jan Oxley, um, as always, it helps me out if you give the video a thumbs up. Jason, good evening. Now there is a myth, there's a bit of a myth and a legend that um, on Halloween, if you run around this building and say something, I don't know what the word is, I'm going to have to figure it out. Um, a friend of mine who used to know moved away and I haven't spoken to him in ages and I don't have their number so but um, you should be able to see a face in the window if you run around the church and say something three times I don't know whether that's true but it's uh, a magnificent building a lot of uh, a lot of people that come to Great Yarmouth for day trips or you know just normally they don't normally come up here should we see if anyone's in I don't think they're going to hear me. And I've just noticed as well, the uh, the uplights have all been changed to LED. Weird that I've just seen that. Jay's channel, good evening. Hope you're good. Um, so, what we're going to do, we're going to show you around the town, see what's changed, the market, the update. Uh, the Winter Gardens, there's no update at the moment. I know there's uh, a cash injection there. Uh, but that's lottery funded partly as well. Not sure when that works about to start We'll also take a trip on the piers and if we can actually I want to try and go on the big wheel tonight Because this may be the last time on the stream That we see the big wheel in Great Yarmouth because obviously um, The big wheel tours around and it moves to different locations. So it's only here until September I've never noticed these nice little bits of rose garden. Peter, good evening. Sorry, I've been uh, missing the chat a little bit. <laughs> Crispy beaches. I don't think so. Catherine and Stephen, good evening. Hello, Michael. Hello to Tracy. Shirley's here as well. Tracy, currently sitting in the Empire. May run into you later. You never know. Jay's channel, good evening, Tim and Gabby. Hope you're good. Thank you, Jay. Um, as always, 
if you'd like to support the channel, uh, Super Chats are greatly appreciated and I'll pick someone at random to win a walk with me mug this evening. So that'll be at the end of the stream. Debs Nangle, good evening. Hiya, Tony. So the sunset tonight, it's not going to be that epic. Not like when we were live in Great Yarmouth last time. That was a pretty epic sunset. Tonight it's going to be uh, a bit clouded over. So last time I was on the stream, that was it, yeah, somebody um, said, can you go and uh, check this house out? Bit of history. This building that's in front of you is um, a fairly famous building in Great Yarmouth. What I love about this area is that uh, it, you don't feel like you're in Great Yarmouth, really. That looks like a movie set, to be honest, but um, the author of Black Beauty used to live here. It's now a cake shop, but it is such a lovely little building. Lynette, this is a live this evening, so that's what you're watching, a live stream, so it's not edited. Uh, Celestial Productions, good evening. 97 thumbs up. Just remember it doesn't cost you anything for a thumbs up, so please make sure you hit that thumbs up. Sue, good evening. Tim, great to see you on the live tonight. We've missed the last two. Uh, we'll watch over the weekend. Well, obviously, it's a, it's a bank holiday weekend, so uh, that's why I thought I'd do the live tonight to see what's going on in the borough of Great Yarmouth. Obviously, there's a lot of um, holiday makers in the town, so it will probably be fairly busy. But mind you, I always find it, it goes fairly quiet down the seafront after about 8 o'clock, because a lot of people go back to their caravans or chalets. Jeanette, uh, evening Tim, nice to see you in uh, Chroma on Sunday. Yes, last night I was supposed to be in Great Yarmouth for fireworks, um, but I thought it was going to get called off, but it did actually go ahead. It was so windy, and the thing is, is when it's that windy, it really does mess with the microphone and it just sounds awful, so I decided um, I decided to knock it on the head and do it tonight. Yeah, remember, as it's alive, the signal occasionally does. Should be good. Coach Maker's arms. Kick in. So the, uh, the marketplace is coming along nicely. That big structure that you can see uh, right in front of you is, um, is the new market. Hang on a second, I just need to uh, adjust. Oh, I can't. Thank you, Simon. Thank you, David. So the next time we do a live stream in Great Yarmouth will actually be when the, uh, the Out There Festival is going on, um, which is a, a street arts festival with lots of pretty cool things going on throughout the town and the seafront. Uh, so that's the next time I'm planning to be live from Great Yarmouth. Jay's channel, thank you very much for your five pound super chat. Baby and hot chocolate fund. Very haunted building here in Great Yarmouth. Can I say hello to Jamie, is your biggest fan. Hello, Charlotte. Can hear live singing. Yeah, that was the pub just further up. John Webster, channel member, using those emojis. That is a seagull, by the way, on there. <laughs> so yeah, the market's gonna be changed forever. Although, to be fair, it's gonna feel very similar to the old market because of the way of the design, but there should be seating areas in here, which would be quite nice.
it has come up quite quickly. Again, I don't know what's happening to the old market, whether they're actually uh, gonna like tear it down or, or keep it. But some of the old um, market traders have already moved out of there in preparation, I believe. Bubble Cadbury, good evening. Hello, Belvedere, hello, Tatina. Do you know what? It is really strange about the marketplace this time of the evening is that no seagulls. Now, if you're ever in Great Yarmouth, you'll know that seagulls are flipping everywhere. And um, whenever you want to get some food from Greg's or, for, or from the chips, seagulls are everywhere. But this time of the evening, they're nowhere, which is quite nice. So yeah, what we're going to do is going to walk through St George's Park, walk down onto the seafront as well, check out the piers and some of the old parts of, uh, of Great Yarmouth. How warm is it tonight? John, I would say the temperature, I think, when I left the car was about 17 degrees, but I still need to have my jacket on because walking around in just a t-shirt is a little bit nippy. Although there are people walking around in shorts and flip-flops. Thank you very much, Linda. Much appreciated. I definitely could do with one tonight. Yeah, it is weird to see no um, seagulls. Just like, oh, there is one there. One lonely seagull hoping to get some chips. You would have thought the seagulls by now would know that the, uh, the market chips are shut. It's only because we're in the town, London Midland, train spot in 1988. Love the name. Mark, good evening. Welcome to tonight's live stream. Good evening, Debs. Six weeks until we're down. Thank you so much. Can't wait to explore. Well, Debs, remember, there's a whole big bit of coastline to check out <coughs> here in Great Yarmouth and, uh, and Norfolk. Leanna, I think it is. Obviously, all the shops are shut, so it will be. Everyone always asks about this shop, but obviously it's moved, so it's now here. It used to be further down there. It had a fire. It said that store shut early in Yarmouth. No, just the usual time. Good evening, John. How are you? Uh, maybe coming to Yarmouth in the next few days for the Pleasure Beach. Excited. We will have a walk up that way. What we'll also do is we'll check out the, uh, the piece of artwork that everyone is going crazy over at the moment in Great Yarmouth, the, uh, the Banksy. Again, I'm trying to figure out how I get to that on foot because I normally drive and I come up the other way. Foxy B, legend. Thank you for the update. Peter's watching from Lincolnshire. Good evening, Peter. Is the Pleasure Beach still booking advance plume? Yes, I believe so. Palmer shop is still there. It is, but uh, it's shut down. Char, you're here in Great Yarmouth tomorrow, are you? It is quiet this part of town though. We'll see how busy it is down the seafront. We say it's quiet. The uh, the market tavern is always really busy because there's uh, always seems to be karaoke or some kind of live music going on. As there is right now, the theatre tavern. What did I call it? Something else. Palmer's supposed to be the new library. Is that right, David? I didn't know that. Hi, watching you whilst traveling back from Mablethorpe to Lincoln. I did tell my sister to meet you. She's busy, but she'll watch us later, Liana. Good evening, Liana. There you go, they're, they're advertising the Out There Festival, Friday the 17th to the 19th of September. It's great to have it back this year. Like I say, bits of circus, street art, all going on throughout the town and through St George's Park as well. So I'm not going to go down Regent Road just yet. I will go back a bit later on. 151 thumbs up. It helps me out if you hit that thumbs up 
on the live stream, even if you're watching this on replay as well. It's going to move it a bit out of the way of the bus. Shout out for the Lincoln folk here. Hello to Carl and the Lincoln folk. As we um, just have a quick shot down Regent Road. Pretty quiet. Those people look so small, don't they? The puppet man is back, but he's not here. Not tonight, anyway. Good evening, Sandra. How have you been to the Empire since it reopened? Such a good night out. Gem, I haven't actually, no. Hi Tim, lovely to see you. We're at Beachy Head and Eastbourne today and did your walk. Julie, I hope you had a good time. Obviously, stay away from the cliffs in Beachy Head because um, there's, a, there's been a lot of cliff falls I hear there recently. So, uh, yeah, take, always be careful. Goes without saying, really. Can you shout out the Sharp family? Good evening, Sharp family. Hello, Tina. See you last still productions. I've just done it. <clears throat> There's cliff falls everywhere, really. Just don't walk too close to them or underneath them. Just want to show you this. If you ever want to, um, when you're in Great Yarmouth, do a little bit of history walking. Remember, Great Yarmouth has one of the most uh, intact town walls in the country. Um, and in certain areas, it's, it's really well intact. And here's one of them. This was being restored. I don't know what's happening or what happened. Because there was, when I did a video and I walked the town wall, there was all scaffolding going on here. Hey, Darren, thank you very much for your super chat, Darren. Great way to support the channel. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, if you want to see what the town wall, how far it goes, uh, a lot of people always say, can you go and check out the town wall on the live? The only problem is that the signal is a bit dodge uh, around the back streets of Great Yarmouth. If I can do it maybe one time, I will. But if you want to check out the video, link is in the description right now. Hey, James. Uh, Gab is all right. She's a bit tired. She's gone home, obviously being preggers. <laughs> Pregnant. Uh, Geordie Kev, um, if you want to check out what that is all about, the link is in the description if you want to find out more about channel membership. Obviously, remember to hit subscribe, that is free, but channel membership is basically a way to support the channel. You get some exclusive perks, so uh, do check it out. It is a night, I tell you what, now I've put my coat on, it does feel a little bit warmer. Michael and Julie Claridge, how did you not know about the wall? Mind you, when I used to come here on holiday, I never knew about the wall. And it is pretty impressive, especially as you go up to the other end of Great Yarmouth and um, see quite a lot of intact with the turrets and stuff like that. It's amazing to see. Jem, you're absolutely right. I thought about um, bringing it out tonight, but I was like, I'll be too warm. Heather's in South End. <laughs> South End and what, Yama, two places I spend most of my time now. Can I say hello to the Allen family? Good evening, Allen family. Oh, thanks, Natalie. 25 degrees in Dorset today. Read it and weep. I think it was about 23 at one point here in Great Yama. It's a nice evening though, to be fair. Better than last night anyway. Our little mini cenotaph. Thank you, Charles. Much appreciated. Mick, 1958. Good evening, Mick. Good thanks. Whether they're watching me or, or they're just waving, I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, the Out There Festival, which will be arriving in Great Yarmouth, it basically takes over the whole of St George's Park so this area and you'll what you'll find is you'll see lots of different stages 
So, um, and they're always numbered and you get a map and you can see what's going on at each individual stage. And uh, there's some really quirky stuff going on. And in years past, they've had paint parties. They've had those men who go down the street banging on the drums with the LED lights. Have you ever seen them? I don't know what they're called. Uh, Janet, thank you so much for your super chat. Much appreciated, Janet. Yeah, does anyone know what they're called, those drummers with the LED lights? They look weird, they almost look like robots. See, they should open that at night, especially in the evening, for people to come and have a drink. Cold in Milton Keynes today, a chilly 18 degrees. Blimey. Just a little bit of history on St George's Park. This has changed a lot. I mean, when I first moved to Great Yarmouth over 25, blimey, 30 years ago, um, this was not the best place to be with the trees all overgrown. It had a bit of a bad reputation. Uh, the Borough Council cleared it up, made it a bit more open, you know, and made it look so much better. Foxy be slightly blurry. We'll see how that signal goes. If I have to refresh it, I will. <laughs> I haven't, I don't know what this snail is about. Tim, can you give a shout out to my dad, Bronson, from Barking, first time he's been on YouTube. And he is a look-alike. That's my dad's nickname, Bronson. Who does he look like? Charles Bronson. I can see my house from here. I don't know what that's about. Congratulations, you found Bolt. Sue, so I would walk. I I never walk up the Venetian Gardens just because uh, the phone signal is not good up there. Gary, I didn't even notice that. Why'd you say that, Melissa? So, just very quickly, whilst walking up here, I think we're getting some work done on the playground. Very interesting video coming up tomorrow. Make sure you do check it out when it goes live, around about five o'clock, um, as I took a trip to uh, one of the worst holiday parks I've ever stayed in. And obviously I have to be uh, very careful about how I say this, but um, on TripAdvisor it's one of the worst. You probably know which one it is because it's had a lot of press recently. And in fact, um, when I went there, there was a lot of stuff I couldn't put in the video from what the staff told me, only because I don't want to get anyone into trouble. But um, yes, it's going to be an interesting video as I visit one of the worst holiday parks in the country. I don't know whether I'm going to use that as the title. I'm not sure yet. Jimbo, there's no fireworks tonight. Hey, Big Sean. Are you Big Sean in? Where are you, Sean? Are you here? Um, so if you want to go and... Uh, check out the Banksy you can go down there I don't know what the signal will be like actually if we go down there we could try and check it out is it can it be as bad as Faulty Towers Sean is here are you up where you normally are Sean I try to be Dennis Please remember to give the video a thumbs up, it helps me out loads. I would have thought that um, most bed and breakfasts and hotels in Great Yarmouth are full to capacity, obviously being a bank holiday weekend. Michael and Judy Claridge, that's fine. So I try to do a live from my hometown of Great Yarmouth once a month because I know you guys like it and uh, it continues throughout the year even in the dead of winter as well which actually is always a lot more interesting to walk around Great Yarmouth in the winter when no one's around. <laughs> you might remember from the video in the winter I came up against a slight problem. Are you? 
Just double checking. You waving at me? Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a very nice balcony. How are you? Brilliant. Are you are you uh, owner or are you here on holiday? Oh, very nice. Very nice room. Did you specifically ask for that room? Do you? Oh, you're one of those people that ask for the same room every year. You know what you like. What's your name? Paul. Good evening, Paul. Who's with you? Who's who are you, darling? Alison. Good evening, Alison. Sorry, I didn't mean to call you darling. I don't know why I said that. That is, I hear that you got a good breakfast in there, is that right? Did they win awards for breakfast? I, I remember, I always remember walking past and seeing a sign. I always used to say to Gabby, I was like, if only they'd let other people in to come and have breakfast, I'd give it a try. <laughs> but I love the way, on, I love bed and breakfasts when they set up the breakfast the night before. So you walk past there, you almost want the morning to come so you can go and enjoy it. I know, it's weird. I can see it from here. It looks very nice. Hey, maybe you'll get a discount now. We've uh, given it a shout out in the future. Where are you guys from? Oh, Leicestershire. About two and a half hour, three hour drive. Yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. Have a good evening. See you later. Brilliant, thank you. Tim, you're doing a great job, everyone on YouTube. Oh, thanks, Gary. Everybody has their favourites. John's been to Pontins Camber Sands. Did you like it? How is Smidge doing? <laughs> Nasty, that's a random question. Smidge is alright, he's at home. <clears throat> Somebody said it's not very busy in Grey Almost. We'll see how busy uh, the seafront is in a moment. Hi Tim, love Grey Almost. I've been coming on holiday since I was two years old. I'm now 55. Been watching all your videos on lockdown. Thank you, Darren. Don't forget as well, obviously. I do lots of videos from the Great British Seaside, from all over the country. But if you want to go and get your fix of Great Yarmouth videos, there's quite a variety, you know, not just the lives, but edited videos. So uh, check out the playlist. You can check out playlists on my channel as well. You just click on my logo, Walk Me Tim, and then just go across to where it says videos, playlists, and um, you can get your fix there. Is it a bit pixelated, Foxy Bing? I'll refresh it. Bear with us, everyone. Momentary disruption. It is weird. From one stream to another, sometimes it's perfect, other times it can be a bit dodge. Alison, thanks very much for your five pound super chat. Now, I don't know too much about seagulls in the fact that they're the babies, right? Yes, we'll have an update on the um, the marina centre, which uh, will be this time next year. Should be open. Big Sean's normally around here. Great Armour legend, Big Sean. <coughs> Sun's going down. What do you smell where you are? That's an interesting question. Obviously, I can smell donuts at the moment. That's what I can smell. So, if you joined me the other night in South End, um, you might be pleased to know there is a video coming up from South End, South End at night, um, on Wednesday next week. But yes, over the past few days, I've been um, I've been very busy. I've been filming a lot of videos, which uh, I can't wait to share with you guys, including one video that's probably the strangest video I've ever done, where I visit a landmark in the southwest of the country, which not a lot of people know about. And when I say it's a uh, well, it's a tourist attraction, but it's a very very weird tourist attraction. I don't want to spoil it, but. Uh, <laughs> When you watch the video, you were like, what? What? Is this for real? But yeah, it is. You can clearly see where the entrance is going to be now. It's weird, isn't it? I'm sure that's exactly the same spot of where the old entrance was. Have you learned how to say Curacao? No. Have I said it right? Just recognised you. Hello, mate. Hello there. You're YouTube, aren't you? Yes. I actually recently subscribed. I actually followed your 
uh, channel. I found your channel because I've just been standing up in Chrome and Sheridan. So I just want to say thank you. Ah, what your was your name? Daryl. Uh, Daryl. Thank you, Daryl. Very helpful. Ah, well, okay. much appreciated, Daryl. I'm glad you subscribed. Have a great day. See you later. Yes. <laughs> Go and, oh, brilliant. Go and check it out. I don't. I, you can't hear you, Crispy. But yeah, thanks for that. Natalie is a lot bigger now. Yes. My camera zoomed in. Um, now, every time I've ever done a live stream, I've always talked about the fact that I'm going to try and get on the uh, the wheel. But every time I get up here, it's shut. No, Daryl, I don't think he's on the chat. Jay's channel, hope you're okay. You say you've been just uh, recovering from your op. What happened? We don't obviously have to talk about it if you don't want to. Has anyone else, if you've been coming to Great Yarmouth, noticed these have appeared this year? I really do like the fact when um, local buses at the seaside take on the whole coastal vibe and uh, Great Yarmouth have done that immensely. Thank you very much. Having a nice walk? Yeah, we are, right. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. Helen from Scotland, good evening. You need a dog to walk with Robert, I know. Don't say that to Gabby, but I do. The only problem is, is when they go for a number two and then I've got to stop every five minutes. And if it's like a dog that I used to have, I used to have a problem. All right, so um, I did do a video on the big wheel and I did that um, when it first arrived in Great Yarmouth. Unfortunately, it's not here to stay. It, uh, it tours the country and some seaside places say they have the big wheel. Uh, this is, I believe, quote me if I'm wrong, is the biggest in the country. So it's gonna be a shame um, when the giant wheel disappears because it's part of the, uh, there's a webcam on it as well. It's part of the, uh, the seafront now, but um, yeah, it's not gonna be there for long. Gobble, what do you mean? The wheel, yes, I think it is. We'll try and get on it if we can. Hi Tim, are you videoing Western Supermare? Yes, I was in Western Supermare this week and a video will be coming up on the channel very soon. I was going to do a live from there, but the signal was dodge. <laughs> Amanda, I think so. In Great Yarmouth, anyway. Gary, I think it's just circumstance. <laughs> I just got lucky. Did you know, if you stand far back from Circus Circus, you can see the, uh, the Yarmouth Hippodrome. Can imagine what that was like before the amusement arcade was there. Which is the yeah, but there's a live webcam of this camera as well. Um, do you know what I think Yarmouth needs? And this is just being biased to Blackpool, but obviously we don't have illuminations as such apart from those. I always think searchlights look so good. I know we're near Norwich Airport, I don't know what the rules are, but um, I think like Blackpool does that. Mind you, Blackpool got Blackpool Airport and they have searchlights going and it always looks so good. Especially on a night time, it really gets the atmosphere. On a night time when fireworks are going on, all that kind of stuff. So it'd be really good, wouldn't it? If uh, Great Yarmouth had some of those, I know they're quite expensive. <laughs> Thanks, Amanda. So, when I did a video on the giant wheel, it was free advertising for them and they very kindly gave me a complimentary ride on the big wheel. Now, I'm rubbish with names and I think I can't remember who the, um, who the manager was, so I might have to just pay, which is fine, I'm happy to do that. But if you are missing Blackpool and the illuminations, I'm going to be up there in October doing a live. Obviously the illuminations this year are going to be uh, a lot longer than they normally are because of uh, the dreaded C word. Is it £8 a go? I can't remember how much it is a go. Considering this might be the last time that I do a live with the wheel, maybe we should, uh, should we go on it? Let me know in the comments, should we go on the big wheel? God knows what the signal will be like, with all that metal. Can 
Come on, yes or no? Should we go no. on here? It's quite quiet, so uh, Foxy B, you'll have to update me with the signal. There normally is a, uh, I can't, there normally is a VIP cabin on these, depending where you are in the country. Like, for example, um, Western Supermare has got one, Bournemouth's got one. They're not as big as this, though, of course, being the giant wheel. You can get tickets online, actually. All right, so yeah, it is eight pound. What's the time? It's open till six. Hey, <laughs> something's wrong. Oh, thank you. I was just going to say, I, I normally ask the um, the manager if I can get a ticket. I've forgotten his name. Evan. That's it. Is he here? Yeah, he's just around the back. Could he, is it right if I just quickly pop on during the live? Just do one, one, one round go. If not, I'll pay, it's fine. If you want, don't see why not. It's a great advertisement. <laughs> how big is it? Okay. Jimbo, how, how big is the wheel? Do you know any stats? Uh, like 50 metres or something, but it's the biggest one. Really. Yeah, no, I know, but 50 metres then, okay. Weird. You can get your own photo from the big wheel as well. I'll try and see Evan and say thank you very much. So, <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Wait, what is it? Oh, nice. I appreciate that. She's like, Who are you? I don't care. <laughs> Hello, you're right. Me and my boyfriend, we watch you all the time. Oh, you are you local then? Yeah, I live in Hester. So you don't travel around with the wheel then? No, they just, we don't. No, we they don't. just take staff and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right, nice. So it's like, what are you going to do when it finishes? When, when does it wrap up? Uh, I think they leave in October. Oh, October? I thought it was September, so a That's little bit. I, thought, I think it was. It's extended now. Yeah, it's been extended. Oh, has it? That's good. Because yeah. it's normally shut though, it's six. Uh, That's what it really. says, six. Like, during the summer, it's open longer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I was going to say. Because I haven't managed, because I'm doing a live now, I hope that's okay. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. There's 500 people watching. Hi, 500 people. Hello. Hi, 500 people. Come to the big wheel in Great Garden. Yeah. Brilliant. Thank you very much. All right, I know some people are scared of heights. Which one? This one? Yeah. Thank you very much. Hopefully the signal's alright, because I'm doing a live, so... Yeah, <laughs> Ashley Explores, yeah. Uh, Charles, good evening. I missed the super chat there, I do apologise. David, thank you so much. My walking mug is doing good work. Alright, so... Um, we're live on the wheel. Foxy B, I'm going to need you to update the signal. <laughs> I think for its size, Yarmouth is better than Blackpool, especially with a massive sandy beach. Well, it is. Let's check out the beach tonight. Look at that. Hopefully the signal will still be good as we go up here. If you are scared of heights, I apologise. Are we at the top yet? Look at the sunset! Look at that! That is amazing! Oh, it's a bit windy up here. We're going right over the top. Time to get a good screenshot of the sunset. I couldn't see it down below. Look at that. Hey Charles, good evening. If you just tuned in. We're live on the big wheel. Thank you to Evan as well for uh, letting me go on. It is very high. We'll just have a look over there. Gabby will be jealous. Do you know what? She went on one in Bournemouth and she... Um, She's not a big fan of heights. 
Signal's good. Michael and Julie Claridge, thank you. I mean, I think you go around, is it three revolutions, they, they say? Is it three or two? I don't know, maybe because I got them for free, they'll probably do it once. No, we're going around again. <laughs> is it wobbly up there? It's not wobbly, but it is, um, it's very windy when we get right to the top. I don't know if you can actually um, hear the wind because I've got a muff on. But uh, by the way, just very quickly as well, I just want to quickly talk about channel membership. Thank you to Scott, Deborah, and Annabelle that have joined recently. Um, channel membership, basically all my videos are always free to watch. You don't have to pay for them. Subscribe, that's free as well. Channel membership is a great way to support the channel, of course. And you get some cool little perks. You get to see the videos before everyone else. You get little badges in the chat and the badges change to however long uh, you've been supporting the channel. So if you want to go and check it out, the link is in the description. We're just going over the top again. So I need to just uh, have a look at the sunset. So Braden Waters over there. In fact, we can see Caister in the distance. Case the water tower. It does look very busy from up here. It didn't feel that busy down on the seafront. Uh, Bill, Gabby is um, resting at home at the moment. Tina, who's listening to 60s music? Martin, good evening. Our five-year-old Ethan is watching you and would like to go on the wheel now and asks if you've had a good day. Martin, tell him I have had a lovely day. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, Bill, have I thought of a name for the baby yet? No, I haven't actually. So let's just have a quick look over here then as we look towards um, Wellington Pier the Winter Gardens, and of course, the Pleasure Beach as well. Brandon, I'm your biggest fan team. Would you please do a live from Perry Sands Haven Holiday Park in Perrin, Perth, Cornwall? I will be going to Cornwall, but I don't know if I'm going to get there this summer, though. That's the, uh, the only thing, but I am planning to. This is Central Beach in Great Yarmouth. If you're, uh, if you're of age, you may remember that it was always a popular place for um, music, Concerts they haven't had obviously because of everything's been going on but a concert on the beach here for a very long time You might remember back in the day um, Radio 1 Roadshow, but the last time I remember coming to an event was um, Dave Pierce from Radio 1. Has he stopped it? <laughs> he stopped it right at the top. Maybe someone's getting on. I don't know. Should you have a look down? Are you scared of heights? Can you hear the wind? It's really windy up here. They've basically stopped here right at the top. But it's a good view. God, wouldn't it be just crazy just to be in here on your own all night long? Someone said, can you feel the wheel move? And the answer to that question is no. Foxy B, is the signal all right? Because I'm right at the top now. Hello, Derek from Wellington in Somerset. I've uh, just returned from Somerset yesterday. It took me a good um, five hours, 40 minutes to get home. Well, actually longer than that because I stopped off to get a coffee many times. We're on the move again. So from up here, you can see where we started all the way in the direction over there, the, uh, the Great Yarmouth Minster. It's getting dark quite early now, isn't it? What time is it when it gets dark? <laughs> Darren, I am getting lazy. Well, this is, ha this is handy, isn't it, really? Sorry if you're scared of heights. How many times have we been round now? 
the thing is, is when you're going on here, you just don't know where to look. You think, stuff. is it going to go around two, three times? So uh, if I'm going to look that way, I need to wait until I come around again to look the other way. Heather is my, was that Heather? Is my son's dad's funny enough. Oh. Sure, that is it. I'm going to leave. We could get our photo taken. Yeah, brilliant. Thank you very much. We start, do I leave that way? The doors magically open. Thank you very much. Yikes. So yeah, it's going to be here till October. So um, go and check it out. Go on the slingshot next. Rail rider. Thanks for letting me do that, guys. Yeah, it was really good. Good. Nice that you kept me right at the top. Yeah. Did you get a photo? <laughs> when do you get the photo? Oh, on the way in, do you? We'll get you a photo. It'd be Go totally embarrassing. Get on that. Get on that cross. So I stand there and get my photo. How much yeah, is the look, photo? I can, I can hold it for you. If you like. Oh God, How embarrassing. <laughs> They're four pounds <laughs> each for a bridge magnet or two to six. Okay. Well, you'll have to get my best side. I'll try my best. I haven't got a <laughs> Big smiles, three, two, one. Here we go. Here we go. Didn't go. No, we don't turn it on yet. Oh, right, okay. Thank you very much. That's all right. Look so you're up. not allowed to take, you're not normally allowed to take videos of it. No, but we'll give a special <laughs> acceptance for Disclaimer. you. Disclaimer. <laughs> so what do you actually sell the most of? Key rings or is it just key rings? Well, no, we get it here. Here's the deals that you can get and you can get like three of them for 12, get a keyring magnet and photo for 12 pounds. There you go, for memories to last forever. Or like the who's magnets are four, and keyrings are four each and you can get two for six. Wow. So who's got the dog? Uh, Tiona's. <laughs> where, where, where's right the doggy? What kind of dog is it? Um, it's a Cavapoo. I have no idea what that uh, is. Like a King Charles Spaniel and a Poodle. Yeah. A little fluff ball basically. Aww. I'm sure, I, when I was walking up, I was like, that looks like a really cute dog. I was wanting to see it, but I can't. No, anyway, thank you so much for that. Thank really appreciated. Hope I did. Oh my God, that is so cute. And when you come up, you guys will see the dog there most days. Oh, yeah, right there that is so good. <laughs> yeah. You get to get on a wheel and pet a dog. <laughs> uh, people are saying you are great ambassadors for the town. Yay! Wonderful staff. Thank you. Will you get a raise? Yes, pay yes. Yes. <laughs> Do you get tips? No. Uh, I've only got my card on me, otherwise I'd have, I'd have given you a tip. But... <laughs> I love you. the flowers as well, a nice addition. You don't get that very often. Yeah. Who, who put those there? Evan. Oh, really? Oh. Nice. <laughs> Does he take them everywhere? Where, where's the big wheel going off to next? Manchester. Manchester. And that there's for six months, is it? Uh, yeah, just to... Is it over Christmas? I think so. I think yeah. Christmas yeah. Christmas yeah. So if anyone's watching, you can enjoy this in Manchester. I'm sure the views won't be as good. No, definitely not. <laughs> Thank you, girls. Bye. Have a good evening. Oh, aren't they lovely? I know, totally embarrassing photo. Buy the photo. No, I'm not buying that photo. I should have done really to support it. I'll go back and see Evan later. It's getting dark quite quick with the sunset. It's quite nice. So, uh, I don't know if the Pleasure Beach is open, we'll walk up that way anyway. Brandon, do you watch EastEnders? Randomly, Brandon, yes. Obviously, you might know that me and Gabby were on EastEnders over lockdown. I can say that now, but yes. Yeah. I don't know if you saw it, but uh, there was a video of a behind the scenes, if you watch EastEnders, a behind the scenes look at how the cast members um, are dealing with what's going on and how they can't get too close to each other and all the episodes have been aired especially over Christmas but uh, I was playing if you did watch EastEnders um, Jay's double and Billy I think at one point and a couple of other people I can't even remember and Gabby played Honey so basically when the actors can't get too close together they bring in what they call doubles and it was our first ever job we did it whilst in lockdown and it was a lot of fun, you know, we walked around the square. In fact, um, it was crazy really, because um, we'd never been on the square before, obviously. I think there used to be a tourist attraction where you could actually go and see it, but we went onto the square and had a sandwich and a costa just outside the Queen Big. And I've got a photo, but I can't share the photo with anyone because of um, 
security and stuff like that but uh, definitely a highlight if you watch back those episodes in fact you might see it when was there was an episode if you do watch East Dinners, there was an episode of Cat with Phil opening up the laundrette and me and Gabby was in that as well but enough of East Enders, I'm sorry, soap fans. Jason, I thought I was going to say Phil Mitchell. I did, I did do a double for Phil Mitchell actually. Oh, that was it. Um, I was a, I was a hand double <laughs> for Ian. Exactly. Not quite sure when work's going to begin on there. So what we're going to do now is um, we did this walk last time the other direction but we're going to walk behind the Pleasure Beach and uh, from Wellington Pier. Sorry I may have missed a couple of that chat. I don't watch Corrie, no. Thank you Foxy B. As always guys, 275 thumbs up if you give the video a thumbs up. It really does help the video pushes out to more of my subscribers and of course it doesn't cost you anything so make sure you hit the thumbs up and a lot of people watch the videos don't realize they're not subscribed again subscribing doesn't cost you anything I know it sounds like it does but just hit the subscribe button and remember to click the notification bell and click all that means that you'll get a notification when I got a video or when I go live <laughs> Hello darling. Gabby, I didn't even know you was on here earlier. Was you on here earlier? What's the building on the right? That's the uh, the Wellington Pier. Hopefully the signal will be right here because um, I'm right behind the building. Go to Nelson's column. Local legend mentioned above the sculpture. Oh. John Oxley, uh, I will try and go up there, yes. There's some live music fun in here, so I'll, uh, I'll try to be brief because, uh, as always, YouTube doesn't like it. But hopefully it's alright, it's not too loud. So we'll try and have a walk on the, uh, the Britannia Pier, but again, they always uh, blast out lots of music, so again, causes problems with live YouTube. Yeah, Gabby, you uh, if you rewind it, Gabby, you can see, but I just did a live on the big wheel, which was, uh, which was very different. And uh, I did say it was the last time it's going to be here, but it's going to be here till October now. So that's good. Let's get to uh, 400 thumbs up. So if you see it's blue, that means that you have pressed it. If it's grey, oh hang on, <laughs> I'm getting confused. Jason, I know it's it's got even more confusing now because of um, the channel membership. They need to simplify it a little bit more. But obviously it's also another way for them to make money. I'm going to have to run down here because I know the signal could go a little bit dodge. Yes, it's very quiet up here now. We will walk, walk, walk down the other end of the seafront too in a little bit. Hello Scully, good evening, hope you're good. Ah, that's why, when you've got it in dark mode. Thank you, Gobble Google TV. So we're just gonna walk past Sarah's Tea Rooms, up past the Pleasure Beach, towards the Premier Inn, and then somebody just asked to see Nelson's Con before we head back down to the seafront into the town as well. Hi, it's Freddy and I'm seven. Hey. Oh, you're, are you on your brother's or dad's account? <clears throat> they could, Les. I know, for example, because I look at the, uh, the stats on YouTube, that 
a lot of people who watch some of the videos are of a, uh, a certain age and I do get a lot of messages from people getting a little bit confused about how it works on YouTube, okay? But you've got to basically have a Google account, so like Google Mail, which most people do. In fact, my mother's mother-in-law has only just joined, and so she was a little bit confused, but it doesn't cost you anything to hit subscribe. I know in that terminology, when you subscribe to something, you're paying for something, but not on YouTube, it's free. Uh, but there is channel membership now, which you can pay for. It's only probably like a price of a coffee, and of course, with channel membership, you're supporting the channel, the content creator, which is me, um, and there's loads of different perks as well. So there's a video on it. The link is in the description and in the chat right at the top. I pinned a message, so go and have a look, and I explain it all there. <laughs> Gobble TV. Interesting. It's the upside down house. Again, I did do a video of the upside down house. Yeah, it would have been good if it was live for the fireworks last night, but it was just so windy. Eeks have been visiting Yarmouth recently. The indoor circus had a really good show. Plan, planning on visiting Chroma Sunset. Oh yeah, you should. It is really nice, isn't it? Hey, Ricky. Foxy B, what's the signal like? If you are watching this on replay, of course, and I keep talking about that, it's because we're live on a stream. Hello, Sue, and welcome to channel membership. Walk with me, beginner. Respect to Crispy, I know you're going through lots of stuff at the moment, so I appreciate you being here, doing the modding. It's quite funny, actually, Crispy, because we had five mods when I first started, and now you're the only one. <laughs> I think there was Tom's vlogs, but um, I don't see I don't see Tom's vlogs coming on very often. So obviously the Pleasure Beach Gardens all shut now. What is the time? It's not. Anyone got the time? James versus gaming. I've always wanted to meet the East Enders cast. It's my dream. I tell you what, if you go down to uh, Elsie Studios, you do see them come out every so often. It's really weird. The funniest thing, and I'm sure I can say this, but the funniest memory for me was when we were on set and I had to go and, I went to go and get a coffee for Gabby. She loves her coffee. And we found out where there's a place where you don't have to pay for it at EastEnders on the set. And um, as I went past where all the cast members have their dressing rooms, Steve McFadden, who plays Phil, was um, shaving his head. He was actually shaving his head. He was putting his head out the window and shaving it. I was like, what's going on? Uh, Vonnie, hello Vonnie, keep losing you. Do you Vonnie? We're here. Why does the Pleasure Beach close early these days? It always used to be open at 10. Ali P, it did, didn't it? Back in the day, it was always open till late during the summer. Now it's only kind of weekends I think, and special occasions. More people watch YouTube now than most TV programs. It is weird how the world has gone like that. You know, back in the day when you just had five channels, four channels, you can get what you want when you want it. Hey, London Midland Transporter 1988. Thank you very much for joining channel membership. I have no idea what that means. Are you a YouTuber as well? And you do stuff on trains? Hey, you've bought a caravan at California Cliffs, Ricky. Congratulations. Are you saying the picture's not good? Is it good? Somebody said, remember as always, Chris will be able to help you out with this. There's a little cog that you can touch because remember it always depends on your internet connection when you join as well. James, I'm not a really an actor as such. I kind of fell into it, but I'm not really an actor. It's more like a, what do they call it? Supporting artist. I don't consider myself as an actor. Jojo, no, I don't, thanks. I do remember four channels, not three. Although, interestingly enough, um, my dad, when I was um, 15, same age that Holly is, 
he gave me a black and white TV. Now that sounds like I'm really old, but we did have colour TV then. It's just that it, my brothers had it and then he passed it on to me. I wasn't overly excited because it was just weird watching what I wanted to watch. I remember watching the movie Poltergeist on it and that was the first time I ever saw that movie and it freaked me out. I think it was even more scary in black and white. <laughs> Linda, I unfortunately remember watching three channels. Vonnie, we're celebrating our big dates next week, our 40th anniversary and my 60th birthday. Congratulations. Special times. So please tell Phil I love him so much. What time do the gift shops shut on Regent Road? Sarah, we will be walking back up that way, but I can tell you they're already shut. James, there's not many people up this end of the seafront for obvious reasons. I'm walking down here because it's always a nice walk and it's quite quiet. We are walking back down the other way. The scratchy noise, John. I've got basically a muff on here and there's some, uh, there's some sellotape on there. Showbiz, that might be the noise. That's an interesting question, I don't know. <laughs> Monty, see, you must be a similar age to me. First TV was black and white. I watched Mr. Bean on it. I keep mentioning this as well. As you come up here, you see these um, bits of artwork. What are you doing, camera? These bits of artwork that have appeared. Not a lot of people know about them. But it's obviously to do with uh, the Yarmouth heritage and past. Monty, I'm 38. Vonnie, everyone's up the other end of the seafront. We'll be walking back down there in a second. Uh, August Bank Holiday weekend, the Pleasure Beach should be open. I know, you would have thought so, wouldn't you, really? You know, go back about 20, 30 years. Probably would have been packed. Now, the difference about uh, Great Yarmouth Pleasure Beach to Blackpool Pleasure Beach, for example, at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, when they open, um, a lot of other businesses and seafront stuff opens when they're open because then it pulls in the people. Whether that's the same for Great Yarmouth, I don't know. Thank you, Daniela. Is that Daniela or Daniela? As I said, if you want to see more videos on just Great Yarmouth, I've got a playlist for them. In fact, uh, a few different videos that I did. There was a video, if you want to see what Great Yarmouth looks like in the snow, interesting. Um, me and Gabby visited every pub during lockdown <laughs> in Great Yarmouth. <laughs> I know, I couldn't go anywhere, so I had to do some kind of videos. So yeah, there's, there's loads to go and check out. But of course, recently, um, I'm trying to keep up with stuff, but I was in Mablethorpe and Skegness and did Skegness at night. If you want to go and check that out, that's like 10,000 views. So people do like Skegness, especially at night. Um, my sister just came back from holiday from Ingold Mells and she said, what a dump. And I went, I like, I like Ingold Mells. There's so many caravan parks on there. I do remember though, as a kid riding the roller coaster at night and um, that, has always been there, hasn't it? And uh, you will see the bright colours. It's a shame it's obviously not lit up tonight. The only thing that is lit up this end, this time of night, is the Premier Inn. <laughs> yes, it doesn't look this great from this side. Did you go to the cabana night to the Pleasure Beach? I did get an invite, but uh, I, I was unfortunately busy, so I couldn't go, but they did look pretty good. <laughs> Jennifer, I went to Ingold Mells yesterday, dump. If you want to see actually um, the most unique amusement park in the, in the UK, which is Fantasy Island, because they've got amazing coasters there, but they've got a market which runs throughout the amusement park. It's the weirdest thing because it is just weird. But I still like going there. It's just some, got some good rides. Mm -hmm. 
Sean, top tip. Go to settings, change playback stuff to 1.5, Tim on Red Bull. Funny stuff will slow it down even funnier. Thanks, Sean. <laughs> Crispy battery's good. Hey, Nick. Yeah, Jeanette, I know when you go on the coast, if you get a break, man. Ooh, I thought that was on fire then. The lights are still on in there. Just looking back down to uh, the seafront, you can see, you probably just see the blue lights of Wellington Pier and the, uh, the big wheel. Ralph says, hello to, hello Ralph. Although we don't get a sunset, you can't really see it, but um, when the sky is pink and the sun sets, you do get a lovely colour over the North Sea. And obviously during the summer, it never gets dark over there either. Bet the Premier Inn is full this weekend. I would have thought so. What is my phone doing? Stop it. How do you not run out of data? Gobble, because um, I pay for the extra big bundle to get more data so I can do lives. But sometimes if I do too many lives, it really does stack up. Vani, yes, I know. I can't believe you guys are still watching as we're just walking down there. It's not the best view of Great Yarmouth, let's be honest. But, you know, wherever you go, unless you're in Dubai, there will always be rough areas. <laughs> There's rough areas in Dubai, I'm sure. They took the board down that used to be there. Can we get to 400 thumbs up? Please make sure you give the video a thumbs up. 350 now. So I'm getting peckish, I could go in there for some food. It's always quite pricey though. Foxy B, good evening. So, um, people keep asking me about um, the Banksy. Do you want to go and see the Banksy? I don't know what the signal will be like. Let me know in the comments because um, we can continue to walk back down the seafront and on to Britannia Pier or we can go and check out the Banksy if you're interested in that. Now obviously um, Great Yarmouth has been getting loads of attention around the world actually because of uh, the street artist Is he from Bristol um, and Basically, I did a video on all of his locations. So if you want to go and check that out, obviously he did lower stuff, he did Chroma, and obviously around Great Yarmouth as well. Yes, please, Banksy Live. I know some people are not interested in it and they just go, well, it's just graffiti, but obviously if he graffitied your house, you wouldn't be saying that <laughs> because I'm sure that um, the owners of that particular property have had some um, some offers maybe. I've got to just try to remember where it is. So if I do go, often we'll go to the Banksy, obviously I'll come back uh, down the seafront and we'll uh, head on to Britannia Pier and walk down Regent Road as well. Uh, good evening if you are watching this live from Great Yarmouth. Thank you very much for joining us on the live stream. If you haven't already, um, please make sure you hit that subscribe button as well so you can see more of my videos. As I said, got a video coming up tomorrow as I visit the worst rated holiday park in the UK. And all I'm going to say is you need to watch the video because uh, I was shocked and I asked for a refund which I, I'm probably not going to get. Um, yes, I know that the model village has had offers for that um, 
miniature house and they are ridiculous offers. I mean, they are life-changing money offers. Uh, Frank, the owner, such a nice guy. It couldn't have happened to a nicer guy, really. Um, you know, whatever decision he makes, to be honest, and obviously I don't know this for sure, I'm just speculating, but um, after talking with Frank, when I filmed the video, you know, he was telling me that uh, some of the offers he, would get, he was getting um, they even said that they will allow him to keep it so on a loan Which is crazy. So basically you can get all the money and still keep it there as use it as a tourist attraction That's what you call winning Definitely he could retire Vonnie yes, it will be getting dark uh, Suzanne it'd be wrong for me to tell you but um, Yeah I don't, the, well, it's probably changed since the last time I spoke to Frank. It was, um, it was six figures. Um, and it's probably gone even higher. I think that's from their cabana nights. That lonely little palm tree. Hawaii, 7,181 miles. Is that for real? Buy a drone, I've got one. I can do a live on the drone as well, did you know that? Look at that, didn't know that was there. Hey! <laughs> Good evening Gary, thank you very much for joining. Yeah, I obviously um, do use the drone in some of my videos. Obviously, some places I can't take the drone. I do uh, have a PCFO. Is that what you say? What you call it? I had to do a course, but I think the uh, the law's changing again. But for example, I was in Western Supermare, um, and I did my research, and uh, obviously, to use a drone, you have to get permission. But Bristol Airport is pretty close to Western Supermare, and the planes come over. I saw an, an EasyJet plane which is probably around about 200 meters from the ground. Don't quote me on the official stats there, but it was pretty low and I've seen people use drone footage from there and it's like crazy. <laughs> Ali P had a drone, he's in the middle of the North Sea. Hello from Zach, Helen, Matthew, Eric and Chewy the dog. We love your videos, good evening guys. Tell us where you all are as well in the chat, where you are in the UK right now. Now I'm trying to get my bearings of the best way to walk down to see this Banksy. Thank you, Crispy. A bit of spamming going on there. Uh, so people are in Nottingham, Ipswich, Dagenham, Surrey. Merseyside, Great Yarmouth, Chesterfield, Aberdeen, in Aberdeen Beach, Nottingham, Chigwell, Essex, Tooting, Sunderland, Milton Keynes, Romford, Hull, Southampton, Luton, David, uh, David are you in Coulston? I didn't know that. Barry St Edmunds, Cambridge, London, Coventry, Norwich, Birmingham, Hartlepool, Bedford, Nottingham, Blackpool in the house. Manning Tree, Derby, Kettering. We are from Ashford in Kent. We were in Yarmouth a few weeks ago. Oh, this is going to get very dark down here, so I do apologise. Car check, thanks, Crispy. Don't adjust your screens, it may go a little bit. Um, actually, it's darker than it is on the screen. Dagenham in the house. We're just literally walking away from the seafront just for a moment. You can see the uh, the big wheel just up there. As people want to go and see uh, one of the... I actually think, compared to all the other ones on the East Coast, this Banksy is my favourite, to be fair. But people keep asking, you know. Signal's fine. Cossy. Wolverhampton, Hemel Hempstead, people keep asking, how on earth does he not get noticed? Because I think there's more than just one Banksy. Foxy B, you'll have to update me with the signal down here. Kent. 
James versus Gaming. Was you the gentleman that I met on the beach? You coming from Dagenham? Leon C. Boreham Wood. Fortnite player. You met me in Hemsby. Hello, mate. How are you doing? Yeah, it is the bus stop one down here. So if you if you do want to see it, because actually, um, during the day, for the past two weeks, you've seen people down there taking photos. There's the big wheel. Peterborough. Can we get to 500 thumbs up? Just remember to hit that thumbs up, it helps me out loads. Picture's fine, thank you, Brian. Again, I do try to keep up with the chat. If I do miss anyone, I do apologize, but just, just tell me again. Hello, Darren. Darren. Of course I am, yes. Um, the links to my social media are in the description of the video. So you can see me on Facebook, on Twitter and Instagram. Obviously, I do videos, little stories on Instagram quite a lot, which I don't post anywhere else. Obviously, if you're a channel member, I do do the odd video as well. Um, so if you do see a video pop up and you go, wow, it's only got four views, that's because it's uh, only for members only. And obviously some photos and stuff like that. Yeah, this is a long walk down here. I do apologize if it's a bit dull. <laughs> I should have run down here, really. Michael, the one in Lowestoft with the skip is good. Yeah, I do like that one. Although I was really surprised that was a Banksy because I was like, really? It's quite funny when all this was going on, Gabby was like, don't get it. Who is he? What is it? Why do people care? But some people do. Bearing in mind, He's famous around the world. His artwork appears on buildings around the world. So the fact that he came to, I know he's, I know he's from the UK, but you'll see him in uh, New York. I don't, <clears throat> I don't quite know where he's gone, all around the world, but he's in a lot of places. So do I, Amanda. Hopefully she will be with me soon. Obviously she's pregnant at the moment. So if you want to come to the Banksy from the Pleasure Beach, swing a left or a right depending on where you're coming from now bearing in mind when he did this video a police car went went past sorry if you're not interested in this kind of stuff but i find it quite interesting the fact that he never gets noticed and look how busy it is around here okay terrace houses either side you would hear people if they were doing something right but they've actually uh put some protective covering over this now. Bear in mind, some places do not do that, where they find Banksy work at all. But uh, look, there's barriers. This just goes to show you how many people normally come here. So there's, uh, there's, there's audience barriers. One's over the road there, and there's one here. But there you go. And if you line it up perfectly, you see it how it's... Uh, it's meant to be. What is that little circle thing? What do you mean, little circle thing? It's a lady's bag, I believe. Obviously it's stencil. Um, but the way he does it and so very quickly as well, I mean, he parked his little van up there and uh, just got on with it. The one in Lowestoft was defaced. But I don't know how they managed to do it, but um, they managed to kind of um, clean it up and put it back how it was. Someone painted over it and they managed to just, I don't know. Anyway, if you want to know where this is, look out for that big, big casting. Is that casting? So from the seafront, you can see that from the Pleasure Beach. If you want to know where it is, come towards that and then you can see it. Can we go a little bit closer? It's quite dark. Although it's quite handy, there's a light there. We were looking up her dress. <laughs> So there you go. 
hope you enjoyed looking at that at this street in Yarmouth that I've never really come down before in my life since that Banksy was there I've now come down here loads all right so we'll walk back up to the seafront again I'll try and walk quickly that's you and Gabby with the child a few years you never know So yeah, I don't walk really down here very often, the back streets of Great Yarmouth. Again, where the, um, the back streets of Great Yarmouth go, the town wall. I'll try and do a town wall walk one day, live, but again, it all depends with the signal, what it's going to be like. Sean, yes, there is Perspex to... Uh, to protect it. It's weird isn't it because you've got some of these all around the world and they don't put perspex up at all but um, I think it's quite good that uh, they have been done to preserve them. They do look odd though don't they? I don't know whether it'd be interesting to see if, if he actually appreciates that or he's like just let them be natural and let them weather and you don't know what his take on it is. It'd be interesting because I'm sure he'd probably like they take on a artwork of their own when they I don't know, weather or slightly get defaced. Really, Michael, that's awful. Isn't it? Tina Scarlett, you met James and me. Are you talking about in Hemsby? Almost 400 thumbs up. We're just walking back down the seafront right now, if you've just joined us. I do a live stream from Great Yarmouth once a month. Next time we'll be here for the uh, the Out There Festival, which will be uh, very interesting, but very busy. You never know, Nigel. Somebody uh, said uh, he probably watches my YouTube videos. I doubt that. You never know. He might be here now and might be watching it. Very doubtful. So it has been an interesting live tonight, been on the big wheel um, and then walking down this back street. Blimey. I just want to show you this as well, talking about the old town wall. Look how spooky that is down there. Never seen that before. Don't think that's the town wall, is it? No, I don't think so. Michael, I did on uh, Instagram. So the lights will be on down the seafront in a minute. Yeah, Halloween is coming up. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'm doing for Halloween. I did have an, have an idea, which has um, not come to fruition yet, but um, it was going to happen in London. Foxy B, did it go a little bit dodge? Callum, good evening. Welcome to the stream. Again, this is uh, turning into a bit of a long one tonight. I said to go, it'll only be an hour. <laughs> but actually it's worked out quite well with the uh, losing light and um, going back down the seafront because a lot of people like to see the lights. James versus gaming, I thought you was. You're back in Dagenham at the moment, but you're uh, you're moving to Hemsby very soon. Fortnite player, I have. You can see the video. Check out Caster, Caster on Sea Tour that was up a few weeks ago. Now, the last few days, some people have seen some strange lights in the sky over Great Yarmouth and uh, looking ahead can you see that? I don't think that's a star because that was moving unless I'm going crazy hmm I don't know we'll keep an eye on that unless that is a uh, a planet 
What planet is that again? Banksy. Banksy's an alien. It's funny that you say that uh, September uh, Virgo. <coughs> That's what I was thinking about doing. Uh, but it's fell through at the moment. No, Jupiter wouldn't be that bright. It's ne uh, is it Neptune? Well, it's gone. So that light we just saw is gone, so... And I don't think that was a plane. Oh, I should have kept my camera on that. That light has now gone. <coughs> no, I don't think it is Uranus. Thanks. Almost fell for that. It's not a swear word, YouTube, so... That's a planet, we're talking... It was a sat... A starlight, a satellite, you just Michael and Julie Claridge. I don't think it was. You wouldn't see them that bright and that low in the sky. They're normally high above. But that was strange. Google it and a story came out about some strange lights in Great Armour over the last couple of nights. We might see one again on the stream, you never know. Tina, no. Gabby might be though. Julie, it wasn't Jupiter. The ISS moves very quickly through the sky. It would never be that bright that you could see it like that. Normally, you wouldn't see it like that because that wasn't moving. David, thanks. Yeah, I know. I did see Elon Musk Starlink for the first time. Was it a couple of years ago? That was amazing to see. You had to go to a place where you can really see it though, like out of any light pollution. I can feel rain. DVD. I think the big wheel is still open. I wonder if they've got the photo there. I'll laugh so much if they actually print that out. <laughs> 413 thumbs up. If you're watching this, of course, on replay, hit the thumbs up. Slightly different live tonight. You can just see Wellington Pier to the right of me there with the turrets looking green, now changing to blue. Ah, oh, you see Ali P, you've been doing your homework. Brandon, I think I did, yes. What are the flags for? Callum, that's a silly question. What are the flags for? James versus gaming, you never know. It could be Peter Pan. How are you? Hello. Oh, are you right? Yeah, Off home, right. getting ice cream. <laughs> Good evening, Lucy. Thank you for joining the live stream. You had a slush. Too cold for a slush. Stephen, you're a keen astronomer, are you? See, I can't see it anymore. Nothing, completely gone. Oh, hang on a second, it's still there. Look, you can just see it above the upside down house. So yeah, I think that is, uh, is it Neptune? I can't remember, what, I can't, my mind's gone blank. So obviously, yeah, sorry to burst your bubble. That's not a, a UFO or an alien. Uh, FYI, the, the Banksy miniature house which they now call it, is moved to a secure location. So it is not in the model village at night. Venus, that is it, David, thank you. I'll tell you what though, this is gonna sound really sad, but uh, when I used to work for a radio station, I used to get up to the breakfast show. That is super bright in the winter. And the stars in the sky, if you wake up early on a frosty night, they seem super bright because the air's clear and crisp. They look so much brighter than they do and in fact, I woke up once in the winter and looked at that and was like, there's, you, there's a massive blooming UFO in the sky. But no, it wasn't. It was Venus. It's weird, you don't see Chinese lanterns much anymore, do you? I don't know if you've noticed, they've got a banner up there now that says Banksy was here. See that?
Yeah, why don't you see Chinese lanterns anymore? It's obviously been a busy day with the rubbish. They were dangerous. Especially here on the east coast where they could just fall onto people's caravans. I mean, somebody asked me if the shops are still open, and they are. They were all the rage though at one point, weren't they? Lanterns and stuff like that. Tim I, in the, is the Armour Air Show back this year. No, there's no plans for that to return. Clacton Air Show was on though, wasn't it? Is that on at the moment? That's a good photo. Scully, great view of the sun. That's not the sun, Scully, that's a light. <laughs> it is, it was supposed to close at six. <clears throat> Bournemouth Air Show's next week. Next weekend, is it? <laughs> anyway. That's a nice shot of the pier from here. Uh, Neil from Canada, love your walks. Good evening, Neil. Thank you very much for joining us on the live stream. Hope you're good. So you, can, this is a great shot of the sunset and the uh, the lights on the uh, the seafront right now. Like I say, it's going to be so weird when uh, the big wheel disappears. It's like a blot on the landscape that's just gone. But if you haven't seen it up in real life, in person, it is so much bigger. I remember when it first came here, I was like, whoa. But of course, it is the biggest in the country that travels around. It's going to be in Manchester from October. So you've got until October if you want to come and see it. Yeah. <clears throat> it's weird how the air show works in some seaside locations and doesn't in others. For example, lower stuff that was always very popular. So I think we'll cross the road. Super bright, you can see that for miles around. Yeah, there are some shops still open. I just realised that used to be the Come Look In store which has now changed and a place where back in the day all the stars used to go and have their uh, breakfast I don't know if they're still there but you used to be able to go in there and see um, autographs of people on the walls from uh, comedians and actors that had uh, come to the theatres and stuff like that Yes, Matt, I have. I've been on the Big Wheel. There's a video on my channel, but also I was on there this evening. Rewind, and you can see it. It's a shame they don't light up the tower, but we say they. I don't know who actually owns it right now. But it looks pretty dark. We've been live for an hour and 35 minutes. Paul, I will go back there and get that. <laughs> yes, Nigel, the video coming up tomorrow from uh, a certain holiday park is definitely interesting. Slingshot is shut now. Massive, isn't it? 
They have got a webcam on that that you can check out, and I don't know where the webcam is. It's uh, somewhere over here. Is the tower still up for sale? I don't know. Might be. Wouldn't that be great if uh, a big developer came in and uh, and bought it and made it into a, a tourist attraction, like it used to be back in the day? So. If I go for a walk on the uh, the pier, would you like that before we finish the stream? Would you like a, a walk on the pier? Obviously, remember there's live music, so I might have to mute it at times, which is a bit annoying. But see, Nigel, that's the kind of thinking that we need. Different ideas about uh, how you can make it stand out. Let's get to 500 thumbs up, shall we? 423 right now. <laughs> Take it to the MP. Laser light, I mean, you can imagine that, right? If there was a laser light show, someone bought it who had a lot of money and then did a laser light show um, like once uh, on a Saturday night or something, it'd be amazing, wouldn't it? Helen, my video tomorrow will be up at five o'clock if you want to go and check it out. <clears throat> hey Char, good evening. I don't think I've said hello to you yet. Wow, is that still open? Miniature golf? I was just closing, I think. Yeah can, you, can you imagine if they had a zip wire right from there down to the seafront that would be good Yeah it's a shame that the tower is not lit up but of course it can't be lit up if no one owns it I wish you could do a live walk every night Really Julie Look at that we've uh, we missed it they've literally just switched that off But you know the interesting thing, and I've never understood this, why the amusement arcades are open 364 days a year. Even when there's no one around, these amusement arcades will still be open and still be on. It's kind of nice, weirdly, it's kind of nice. You just come down here for a drive or you walk down here and they're open, even if no, there's no one in there. But then let's, let's think about it. You've got these machines in here that, uh, that make a lot of money from people gambling, so... They don't need too many people on them, I guess, to make a bit of a profit. The colour of the sky looks pretty good, doesn't it? <laughs> Lewis, that would be uh, a good idea. It's almost got kind of busier again before it was like fairly quiet when I walked up here earlier. Marvin, are you really in Las Vegas right now? Super jealous if you are. We've got our very own Circus Circus Flamingo up there and Golden Nugget and uh, just to have a still, silver slipper in Vegas. Well obviously they tried to stop the boy racers by putting in um, safety measures on the seafront. Bank holiday bikers will be definitely here, yes. In fact, they congregate now in um, in uh, near Caister. Look at that, it's really weird. You can see a light on up there. Marvin, welcome to the channel. I love, I haven't been to Vegas, obviously it's since everything started, so uh, I do miss it. Heather, your son has come down, what's his name? 
Kate, that's an interesting question. Will the truckers be here? I don't know actually. They normally are. Randomly the uh, the light has gone back on the wheel. Do apologise about the wind. So somebody mentioned to me that the worst fish and chips in Great Yarmouth is along the seafront. I'm not going to point them out because that wouldn't be fair. But uh, I did check on TripAdvisor and it is true. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I would love to do a video to see if really are they are that bad. You can't go wrong with fish and chips though, right? Joshua. Lovely baby name. Hint, hint. <laughs> We're not in Skeg Vegas. Bit of adventure golf this time of night. Why not? This used to be the old swimming pool if anyone wants to know. You see Skegness still has a swimming pool outside. Great Yarmouth needs one again. Southall Pier chips are amazing. Jeanette, I'm not going to argue with you there. Vonnie, what are you on about? It's quiet. It was absolutely really busy a minute ago. Let's get to 500 thumbs up, guys. We've got 453 right now. When you go past Charlie's restaurant, me and Tracy will pop out to say hello. Okay, Ray, we'll do that. The new Yarmouth Illuminations do a switch on. Hang on a second, the, the wheel's back on again. That's really random, because that was switched off and now it's back on again. <laughs> Weird. I'll tell you what is nice to see though, the, uh, the Empire back open and a lease of life that's a great screenshot the empire now is a uh, a live music and food venue the same for so long wouldn't that be lovely to see it lit up again look at it makes your heart melt didn't it to see a building like that in fact actually it looks darker than it is right now but doesn't that look lovely Morning Tim, just woke up in New Good evening to you. As always guys, a lot of you have not subscribed to the channel, um, so you might have forgot or you don't realise you haven't subscribed, so make sure you hit the subscribe button, it doesn't cost you anything, and click the notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. This time of the evening with the sky it looks amazing. So we're going to have a walk on the pier and no doubt the, um, the music will be right so we might have to mute it occasionally. It probably will go a little bit dodge now because the signal always does up here. Jason, if I go inside I will definitely lose signal, that's the only problem. Alright, it's pixelated, let me just refresh the stream, it might go a little bit... Um, Oh, they're going fast. I'm just trying to sort the signal out. So, just... oh, I don't. <laughs> you guys make me die every time it buffers. It's buffering, buffer, 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 buffer. Pixelated, it's pixelated, it's pixelated. I'm doing my best. Has it sorted it now? Remember. Th when it's a live stream, I can't do anything about it. All I can do is just refresh the stream. Hopefully it should be a little bit better. All the restaurants, they're still very busy. Fresh native lobsters over there. How much is a lobster? Because I, I do like lobster. I can't say I have it very often. 
because it's expensive. Can you please wish uh, my son Ethan happy 10th birthday for Monday? He loves watching your videos, does he? <clears throat> Hang on. Try not to get my name. It's weird that the wheel's back on again. Super strange. Chico's, do they do takeaway? Fresh native lobsters. Yes, How much are your lobsters? Uh, they're stuck on 39, 39 pounds. Do you them to take away? No, not to take away. Oh. Sorry. That would be amazing. I'm sorry. <laughs> Can I have a lobster to take away? Thank you. <laughs> wow, 49 pounds for a lobster to take away. Thank you, Amanda. Just bearing in mind the signal will go dodge around here. Just keep with it, guys. So we'll go and have a walk on the pier. <laughs> I think um, I had lobster once in my life. And it was a weird taste, but I would like it again. I mean, obviously you can get lobster towel, but I mean like freshly cooked lobster, where, um, you know, it's, it tastes sweet at the same time as fishy. It's weird. Alley P, obviously, nice bit of chroma crab, you can't go wrong. We'll walk down Regent Road in a little bit. See, again, it's August. Obviously Joyland always shuts early because let's face it, little kids are in bed. So if you hear the video go a little bit quiet, it's because of music on the pier. But we're just looking down Regent Road right now. Look at that with the sun and the sky. My favourite restaurant looks so colourful there. That Turkish restaurant. Right, let's go and have a quick look. Is there any shows on this evening? I don't even know what date. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Oh, no. It's August. I thought Jim Davidson was on. Saturday. That was last Saturday, Jimmy Carr. Now, when I used to um, work at a holiday park, this particular burger joint was always open late night. So when you... Uh, went on the pier to get a drink, you could uh, go and get some food. Now obviously, I can hear music, so I might have to mute it at times. This is because of copyright issues. Hello Tim, hope you're well. Hello to Richard. Best place to get a burger at 2 a.m. It definitely is, right. Oh, hang on. I think we've got a little bit of a lull in music, so that should be okay. Um, I did a Great Yarmouth video at night, and um, you can see the moon just there, and it looks really pretty. I may have to mute it because of the, uh, the noise. Looking over Central Beach right now. And do you know what? It's a shame that those lights don't work. There was a period of time where the lights... Hang on a second, I'm gonna to have to mute this. One moment, keep talking, keep talking, keep talking. The sound of silence. I am here, but uh, every so often the music is super loud, which means I have to mute it because otherwise I get copyright issues. One second. OK, 
okay that's all right i think it's kind of a bit quieter wow am i seeing things the uh the some of uh, the fun fair on the end of the pier is actually open this time of night which is um very unusual isn't it i'm trying to keep talking now while some music's going on because sometimes that helps with the copyright and it doesn't stop me at the same time ah <laughs> oh, dear judy thank you very much great walk ethan's birthday shout out you're welcome hang on a second gonna have to just do this again It is funny, isn't it, when you see that the uh, the Pleasure Beach was shut, but this is never normally open still at this time of night. So it's actually nice to see it open. There's no one here. And in fact, the atmosphere is quite eerie because there is uh, nobody on here. But I'll tell you what, just looking through there, what a great shot that is of looking over towards the big wheel and the pier right there. It's weird that they turn that off and then they turn it back on again. Hello to Turbo Tim's World from Devon. Now normally, when the pier is shut, you'll always see the ghost train and that, uh, that giant slide sign. That's always on and so is this. You'll always see this on as you go driving down the seafront. this ghost train no one's on it I think it's actually more spooky it's so quiet I tell you what you couldn't pay me to go on a ghost train David I can't there's nobody there's nobody on the ghost train actually in fact is anything open the lights are on but no one's home <laughs> they are the lights are all on there's no one uh, Richard, I saw a UFO over the sea in Yarmouth back in 2010. There's round lights, flying information quickly. Oh, well, apparently there has been some UFOs spotted. You used to be able to walk down the pier, but you can't anymore. Look at that. Listen to the sound of the sea crashing in. Okay, so I'm going to have to mute it again as I walk back through because uh, Clean Bandit's playing. I hope I don't get copyrighted by saying Clean Bandit's playing. But look at this. I know there's a lot of people who like fun fairs and stuff like that, but it's so random that the, uh, the dodgems are on, but no one's home. The lights are on. Okay, so I am... Oh, there's still music in here. One second. <laughs> Obviously, I've had to mute the microphone because of copyright issues, so it will be uh, over very shortly. One second. <laughs> 
Matty by the sea. Do you know what? You are absolutely right. It is strangely quiet for a bank holiday weekend. But um, I think the problem is, is you get a lot of people. Hang on. Is this tonight then? Is that tonight? Is that tonight? So yeah, I think um, I got completely confused with the dates, but um, Jim Davison, I don't know whether he's in there now or that was tonight. I'm not quite sure. Oh dear, the sound of the music. Nigel, you're absolutely right. It is Friday for some stupid reason. I thought it was a Saturday night and I was kind of like, hang on, it's a Saturday night and it's absolutely dead. But yes, it's Friday. It's not Saturday. Glad we just cleared that up. Okay, that's better. Um, Terry, I can't play music. How can I play music to get rid of the copyright? I can't. If there was a, if there was an app that allowed you to do that, that would be great. But unfortunately, there isn't. Yes, Jim Davidson is tomorrow night. Cool, that smells good. There's nachos going on. You can smell it. It smells good. One second. I've just got to sort the uh, the sound out because it's quite windy. Right, I just had to put the uh, the muff on it. <laughs> so yeah, Jim Davidson's tomorrow night. John Webster, thank you very much for your one pound seventy nine super chat, and uh, also Colin, thank you very much for yours as well. Remember, I'll pick someone out at random at the end of the stream to win a walk me mug. So, hello mate. Hi. You all right? Yeah, you. Nice to see ya. Sing a song. Thank you, Char. Hopefully the signal's all right. It's all of a sudden, he got busy. Do you need a drink, Tim? Now, one of the most colourful restaurants on Regent Road is this Turkish restaurant. And it always smells amazing, like you're abroad. Because you know when you're abroad, that you get like the chicken and the meat, all, oh, sorry if there's any vegetarians, I do apologise. But um, look at that, that's why it smells so good. Look at all the roast chicken just turning around in there. And there's people upstairs having some food. This smells so good. I've got, I should take Gabby in there, actually. So, someone said about Regent Road. To be honest, you could ask the question: If shops were open, would people come down here? I don't know. They come down here for restaurants. I don't think there'd be enough business. Almost 500 thumbs up. Keep your thumbs up coming. So very quickly, some videos coming up on the channel. Uh, Western Supermare, there'll also be videos from Clacton. Tomorrow is the video that uh, I'm super excited to share with you, is the video from the worst rated holiday park in the country. And I stay there for one night. And um, 
Well, I did ask for a refund. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get it though, but you can make up your own idea whether you think it's that bad. To be fair, compared to some of the reviews on there, I was expecting the worst. So when I got there, I was ready for it. Can I say hello to both parents, Kathy and Pete from Brentwood, who watched this on repeat? Hello, Carol. Yes, it was a Pontins. There is not a Pontins anymore in Pakefield. Somebody keeps asking about that. There's no Pontins there anymore. I forgot what that's called now, something else. But that was also uh, not the best, was it? But apparently that one that I went to last night, the manager, um, not the manager, security guard told me that they actually make a profit, which is um, scary, right? Actually makes a profit. So uh, people, in fact, it's almost got like a cult following because it's so bad. So yeah, make sure you check out that video coming up on the channel tomorrow. 500 thumbs up, let's keep going. <coughs> hey, you're right. Are you been watching? Yep, yep. <laughs> been in the Empire and now we're here. Wow, what are you having a pub crawl or something? Or no, a... no, in a minute. Oh, nice. Did you have some nice food? What's the signal like? Is it all right? It's, it's not been bad, yeah. It's a little bit dodged down. It always goes a bit dodged down here. You don't mind being on camera. <laughs> oh, no, it's fine. Love the shirt. Very holiday-esque. I've got a lot better ones than this. Have you? Really? <laughs> well, have a lovely evening, guys. Thanks for coming to say hello. See ya. Um, Sean, yes, it was in the south of the southwest of the UK. It was in Dorset. No, not Dorset, Somerset. You have walked for ages. Surely you need a drink. Well, Amanda, I'm hoping that when I get home, that um, Gabby will be. No, she won't. I was going to say, very kindly give me a foot rub or something, but I'm not going to hold my breath. Bless her, she's the one that's pregnant. Yes, it is a two hour live stream tonight, David. I can't believe that. I didn't plan it to be, but. Uh, Sometimes when, uh, when I do a live, it's just nice to keep walking and it's nice to chat to you guys as well. So I appreciate you sticking around. Seafront just down there. Thank you, Paula. It's actually quite busy up here. Might be a little bit pixelated. I know this is just because of the buildings and stuff like that. So. But this used to, see when this was open, this used to be stars. Uh, a lot of people would like come down from the seafront and come down on here to continue their evening. <laughs> Random lives are the best. So, um, where was I? A couple of nights ago, South End, that was it. No, was it? Yeah, it was South End. Um, and it was Skegness before that. Where is the next live going to be? I don't actually know. I haven't planned that far ahead because I've just been busy filming videos um, for the past two days down uh, in Somerset and Essex. You probably saw on my Insta stories, I've put up um, a photo of the sat nav that said I had about a five hour 40 journey and I was in the car on my own, it was very boring. Lewis, you never know. I might make you a mod. You kind of semi-behaved tonight. John, yeah, I know. Um, I haven't done a live from home with Gabby for a while. And we normally do uh, a live from home once a month. We haven't done one for a while, actually, just because we've been so busy. My gimbal's playing up at the moment, or it's running out of juice because it's quite uh, juddery. Michael, thanks very much for your three pound super chat. You go in the drawer to get a walk me mug at the end of the stream. Is the lamp on? The lamp is on. Do do do. That always freaks me out. Amanda, I'm not worn out just yet. Adrian, getting a bit dark. I love when people point out the obvious. 511 thumbs up. Can we get to 600 by the end of the stream? That'd be really good. 
as always i keep saying it if you are watching the videos please make sure you have hit that subscribe button it helps me out i think i'm almost at 32k so uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you know when i upload a new video picture's gone dodge typical is that any better i don't know it always goes dodge up here um but while it has gone dodge and you may be able to see me i don't know um, just want to quickly talk about channel membership. Uh, like I said, all the videos are free to watch all the time and when you subscribe it's free. Uh, channel membership is you get a little few extra perks. Um, for example, you get a little badge when you do your chat and that changes for however long you've been a member. You also get priority access to videos before everybody else. You get behind the scenes photos and also you can get a walk with me mug as well. So um, the link is in the description and also at the top of the chat. So uh, feel free to have a look for the price of a coffee. And it's a great way to support the channel as well. I'd really appreciate it to help me make more videos. Foxy B, are you here? Tim Tim. Foxy B, what's the signal like? Yes, and of course you get custom emojis like that mug and a seagull and some beachy stuff. <laughs> Good night, Adrian. It's weird now, I know where the signal's going to go dodge. I know where the signal's going to go dodge in Scarborough. I know where it's going to go dodge in South End. I know where it's... In fact, the, the place that I want to do a live next is Wells at sunset. But the signal there is non-existent, so I uh, might have to record that and then put it out live with uh, Gabby on the commentary, actually, so we could do that. Steve, I did do... A bit of an overkill on videos on Hemsby, so that's why I've left it a little bit of a while before we do that again. John, you're from Scarborough, aren't you? Up near Scarborough. We do still see the Puppet Man, Heather. Yes, we do. It's also getting dark as well, so that's why the signal looks a bit dodge. Because remember, I'm using my phone. I do have a light on here, but obviously when it's super bright and super wide, the, the light doesn't make a difference. Yes, I haven't done a live from Sheringham for a while. Hang on a second. I'm going to have to keep talking because there's live music here. Keep talking. I'm actually going to run because I can't be bothered to take the muff off. People probably think, what am I doing <laughs> running around? Oh, YouTube and copyright. Sometimes I've tried my best and then I still get copyright issues. David, yeah, we, we, did a do, we did do one from Goulton a while ago, didn't we? Let me know in the chat where you would like to see a live next. Here's another snail. So we're just in the town again now. <sighs> I'll tell you what, Colin, that would be amazing right now to get some warm peas. He's not open, though. John, that's not really going to be <laughs> easy to do. When I do a live, depending if I'm filming a video there, that's fine. But just to travel all that way just for a live is a, is a long trek. But I have done it. Norwich at sunset. Yeah, Blackpool will be October. Bury St Edmunds, interesting. I get a lot of people asking me to do King's Lynn. Uh, there will be a video from Ipswich, but uh, again, Ipswich, I know the signal's a bit dodgy in Ipswich. It's quite up here, Victor. Hey, Tracy, thank you very much for your five pound super chat. Thank you for stopping and saying hi. It's nice to see person to the face because a lot of people will come up to me and go, do you not recognize me? And I'm like, uh, no, because obviously I, the photos are very small on YouTube. So I can't sometimes, so it's not me being mean and rude. It's just that I can't recognize. Somebody came up to me and went, Tim, I went, hi. And I was just like, I don't know who you are. And then they reminded me. So that's fine. So we're going to end where we started tonight's live stream. And it will be quite spooky up there. By the way, if you're in the mood for spooky stuff, after watching this live, go and check out my video that I did in Great Yarmouth at Halloween. As we... Um, walk around some of the haunted locations of Great Yarmouth, including uh, the Market Tavern. And also, do we go down there or do we... 
we go I don't know but if you want to get spooked out after watching this live go and check it out on my videos have I been to Wroxham yes I did a video from Wroxham just a few weeks ago on a boat clay there's not really much there <laughs> yeah lots of spooky stuff going on in that uh, in that pub in the past there is a, an actual what do they call it a famous person that did well uh, not wells uh, sewers was it Thomas Crapper or something like that I'm not swearing YouTube that's actually his name there's an original drain there for him I think I've beaten my record I think Dave if you're here in the chat you can tell me this but I think I've uh, beaten my record for the longest live I don't know I might have done I only planned for an hour but it's always good to get your feedback but just tell me in the comments how long is a good live for you guys you know is an hour sufficient do you like it when it's longer do you like me not putting a label on it just uh, tell me in the comments it'd be good to get your feedback 20 24 hours there was another youtuber from london who uh, called lab mob who did a live like all day i think he walked from i think he was in liverpool and he did like and he was just walking through countryside but he had so many people watching and it's just really random that it's very th very therapeutic i do it as well you know watch lives that just go on and on and i don't know why i often say to myself why am i watching this <laughs> that's very kind suzanne paul where's rachel i don't know is rachel in the chat one hour 45 minutes is good is it okay interesting as long as we can walk and talk Bubba good evening S well at least I'm not on my own going to the church because that would freak me out at least there's 500 of you here In fact, actually, we probably could do... Uh, I thought about doing that, but again, it's all the signal issues. But we could do a live on Halloween and uh, go to one of the most haunted cities in the country. And tell me where you think that is in the comments. Michael and Julie Claridge. Harsh. <laughs> sometimes it flows, sometimes it doesn't. Hmm. I won't take offence. Dartford is full of ghosts. I'll tell you what, it is much nicer when Gabby's with me. But I can chat to you guys, it's fine. So we started tonight's live at Great Yarmouth, Minster, and uh, this is where we're heading now. I hope you enjoyed it tonight on the, uh, the big wheel. I'm walking through a graveyard on my own. Tina says, my sister Jackie says, hi. York or Derby, it's close. Belvedere, you don't believe in them, do you? I feel like I'm doing a most haunted live right now. Michael, you're welcome. It's all right, Michael, it's fine. Okay. So that was tonight's light. There's a lot of nice light here, actually. It works out quite well. Got a bit of a sweat on because of uh, this jacket. I just want to say a massive thank you for watching this live. Um, I do get a lot of comments from people who like to see videos from Great Yarmouth. So that's why I said I'll try and do a live uh, once a month for you guys that like it. Uh, the same can't be said for South End. <laughs> a lot of people were not liking South End. I don't know why I love South End, but a lot of people um, were loving Chroma the other night as well. So yeah, I'm experimenting with the lives. We'll go to different places um, and your comments are much appreciated. Your feedback is important, obviously, because without you guys, I'm nothing. So 
Um, your feedback is always really good. So you tell me where we should go live. Obviously, it has to be within my means to get there. Like I say, if I'm already recording a video, I will do a live in that location as well. So we'll be going back on the road again in, uh, I think, next week or the week after down south. So Bournemouth. But I know Bournemouth has dodgy signal, but there you go. Tomorrow, watch out for that video um, as I stay in the worst rated holiday park on TripAdvisor in the UK. It is definitely an eye opener. Also, South End at night on Wednesday and another live coming from a different location very soon, but I'll let you know. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice bank holiday weekend and I'll say good night. I'll leave you with the door. If you see a ghost, let me know. Good night, everyone.